Hello everyone, I'm Sanjay Gupta. Welcome to Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this module, I'm going to demonstrate how to implement batch Apex with an example. Let's understand the scenario which we need to implement with the help of batch Apex. So the scenario is we need to populate account billing address on related contacts billing address. So for that, we need to create a batch Apex and uh, we need to ensure proper code coverage as well. So let's jump into developer console. So I'm going to create new Apex class where I will be writing the batch Apex code. So name of this class will be update contact mailing address. So you can name it as uh, it is required in the scenario. And uh, after implementation, you just need to implement interfaces. So I am writing implements. Okay, so database dot batchable. Then S object and uh, database dot stateful, right? So these two interfaces I have implemented. So whenever you want to write any batch Apex, so this database dot batchable interface you need to implement. And in Angular brackets, you can write as object. And if you want to maintain the state of particular variable between different batches. So for that, you will be using database dot stateful. Now, inside this, I'm going to write the code. Okay, so let's shift it in the beginning. So I'm going to create one integer variable, naming it as record count. Then public database dot query locator. So database dot query locator will be the return type of this start method. So in batch Apex, we need to implement three methods, start, execute, and finish. So I'm going to implement start method first. Now inside this bracket, I need to write database dot batchable context BC. And here I'm going to write return Uh, get query locator. So database dot get query locator. So this is a method and inside this bracket, I need to provide a query. So I'm going to write a string for that. So select ID. Now here I need to write all the fields that I want to copy. So billing street, billing city, billing state, billing postal code, right? And comma, then I'm going to use a plus sign. So if you want to write this uh, in separate lines, so you need to concatenate it with the help of this plus sign. So again, in single quotes, I'm going to write, select ID. So these fields, billing street, billing city, billing state, billing postal code are related to account. Now this SOQL will be parent to child. So now inside this bracket, inner bracket, I am going to query contact related fields. So mailing street, mailing city, mailing state, and mailing postal code. From contacts and I'm closing it here, then putting a plus sign. And here I'm writing from account. Here, billing country equals to USA. So now I just need to write that USA in single code, but uh, already the string in single code. So I just need to use slash single code and then USA. 
then slash and then closing. Right. So this is basically known as escape sequence. So if you want to use single quotes inside single quotes, so inner single quotes will be using the slash. Right. And then it is closed here. Now putting a semicolon and this start method is closed here. Right. Now after this start method, I'm going to write execute method. So public void execute. And here also, I just need to put it. So I'm copying it and putting it here. And list of account and ACC list. So whatever uh, data will be queried from this uh, SOQL. So that will be automatically returned from the start method and it will be stored into this ACC list. Now I'm going to create a list of contact. So all the updated contacts will be added into this list. So I'm going to iterate a loop. So this loop will be iterated on this ACC list. Inside this loop, I'm going to write one more loop so that I can fetch related contacts. So ACC dot contacts. So as we applied parent to child SOQL, so uh, ACC list is uh, providing one by one account record to ACC. Through this acc.contacts, uh, each contact will be uh, available in con. So for one contact, so, sorry, for one account, all the contacts will be iterated and here we can copy the values. So I can write con dot mailing street equals to acc dot mailing street then con dot mailing city equals to acc dot mailing city con dot mailing state equals to acc dot sorry here i need to use billing and con dot So this way, all four fields of account are copied into contact. So now I can add this con into con list. So when this loop will be iterating for one particular account, like uh, if one account is having five contacts, so this loop will uh, iterate five times and five contacts mailing address will be updated and those contacts will be added into con list. Then again, uh, another account will be available into this ACC through the loop and all the related contacts will be having uh, related uh, information and that contact will be added into con list. And uh, after that, I'm going to write record count plus plus. So record count is initially zero. So once one account's billing address will be copied into one contact billing, addre billing uh, address. So this record count variable will be incremented. Now, after completion of these loops, I'm just going to write update con list, right? So this is my execute method. Now, after that, I'm going to write one more method that is public void finish. And here I'm just writing system dot debug record count equals to, and here I'm going to show this variable. So this way, all three methods are implemented uh, in this batch apex, and the code is saved. Now I'm moving here. So I'm just doing a refresh. So here you can see only two uh, processes are available. One is uh, scheduled apex and one is future method. Uh, so when I will be executing this batch apex, you will see one more entry. Before that, I'm going to show you uh, whether this contact is having 
mailing address or not. So it is having, so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove this. And I'm going to save this. And if I go to account, so on account, you can see it is having billing address. And if I Okay, so now I'm going to, uh, here you can see uh, this billing country is uh, USA. So now I'm going to execute the code and you will see related contact will be having that information populated. So I'm just opening anonymous window and here I will be executing the code. So I just need to use the class. So I'm just using it here. And naming it as account process. Then ID batch ID equals to database dot execute batch. And here I need to use this ACC process. And this second parameter will be for uh, batch size. If we don't pass this, so default batch size is 200. If you want to uh, modify that batch size, so you can pass particular value as well. So I'm passing 10 as batch size and clicking on execute. So now I'm coming here to Apex jobs and clicking on refresh. So you will see one more entry. So batch Apex, it is completed, one batch executed. And uh, if I come here, so why one batch? Because uh, in SOQL, there is, uh, a lim there is a where clause like billing country should be USA. So uh, there are uh, like less records, less than 10, uh, where billing country is USA. And if I come here and open this contact, go to details. So here you can see uh, this mailing information is available, right? So we just copied four fields, street, city, state code. We didn't copy country. So that's why you can see USA is not available, right? If you want to copy, so you can add one more line here. So this way I implemented batch epics and uh, I uh, executed it as well. Now the second part of this uh, module is to implement test class for this batch epics. So for that, I'm going to copy this and going to create new apex class and a pending test in the name. Now, whenever you want to create any test class, so you need to use at the rate test annotation. So at the rate is test annotation. So before the class I'm using that and before the method as well, right? Now what I need to do, first I need to create the data. I need to create some accounts and then some contacts and then I can uh, execute that batch. So I'm just creating method. So test address copy. So here I'm creating list of account ACC list equals to new list of account. Then one more list, list of contact con list equals to new list of contact. Now I'm going to create accounts first. So I'm implementing a loop. So this loop will repeat five times. So five accounts will be uh, created. So here, So this way, this loop will iterate five times, five account uh, instances will be created and those will be added into this ACC list. And after this, like I need to uh, put the address information as well. So here after comma, I am just putting billing city as New York and uh, billing country as USA, 
Now I'm writing ACC, insert ACC list. So this way five account will be inserted and those five account records country will be USA and billing city will be New York. Now I'm going to iterate on this account list so that I can create related contexts. So on contact, uh, we have a required field known as last name. So I'm going to provide some value here. So I'm putting test as last name and uh, con dot account ID equals to ACC dot ID. So this is important because we need to link the account with the contact. And uh, I need to add these contact into con list. So this way con will be added into con list. And after completion of this loop, I'm just writing insert con list. So this way, Accounts are inserted, contexts are inserted. Now I can uh, execute the batch. So for that, I'm writing test dot start test, test dot stop test. So these two statements we use so that uh, fresh governor limits will be available. So to uh, reinitialize governor limits, uh, you can use these two statements and uh, these two statements you can use once in a test method. So here, sorry. So now I'm just copying this class name. and I created instance of this. Now, I just need to write ID, batch ID equals to database dot execute method, execute batch. And here I need to pass this ACC process. Now, after this, I need to query the data. Like I just need to query the contact records so that I can verify whether uh, batch Apex executed properly or not. So I'm going to write list of contact con list equals to select count from contact where mailing city equals to New York. So here you can see on account billing city is New York and our batch is executing based on billing country. If billing country is USA, then we are going to copy these information. And in this information, one field is billing city. So we are just uh, copying this billing city into mailing city. If mailing city on contact is having New York, it means your code executed properly. Okay, so instead of this list, I can use just integer. So counted contact, and then I can write system dot assert equals. So expected five, because we created five contacts for each account and we created five accounts. So five contacts will be updated. And here I'm writing counted contact. So this way assert is also implemented. Now I can just run this test class so that we can verify the code coverage. So I just clicked on run test. Uh, test is passing, assert is also passing. And if I go here, so you can see it is uh, providing 100% code coverage. So this way uh, with the help of batch Apex, you can copy account billing information into related 
contact mailing information.